How's it going everyone? Dominican Steel here with another video. In today's video, you guys are going to be seeing some awesome stuff, including this weapon right here. Now this weapon is a auto rifle that you get from um, only this season, and I believe it's just a season reward. Um, I don't know if it's a direct season reward, but I know for a fact that you can get this if you go to Mercury and uh, follow me on the screen here. You're going to be doing these sundials um, in the arena. I don't know if it's going to rotate every week, but you get this auto rifle as a reward for completing this. Now, I got lucky, very lucky in fact, and uh, let's just take a look at my steel feather repeater. And um, so rapid fire frame, that's the archetype of the weapon. It is a very fast firing weapon, almost reminds me of Monte Carlo. Now. Speaking of Monte Carlo, let's keep looking at the traits I got. So if we're not looking too deep into detail here, these rolls are pretty good. You know, we got a pended mag, which is always good for an auto rifle. You have more ammunition. But look at this right here, Feeding Frenzy. I don't remember getting Feeding Frenzy on an auto rifle since Destiny 1. I mean, let's be honest. If we move over to the next column, we have Swashbuckler. This is why I said I got pretty lucky on this drop, because if we look at it again, Swashbuckler, this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. You guys know, and if you don't know, Swashbuckler is pretty much like Rampage, but it stacks up to times five, and I think the damage is a little more finely tuned than Rampage is at the moment. So this is a very good perk that you can also activate to times five stacks which is the max, with a melee kill. Now, this makes this weapon so viable, so, so viable when two things. You're playing on a hunter, um, using your punch, or you're playing on a titan, which is what we're using here. The titan, worm god caresses, also work. I also got extremely lucky, I mean it to my horn. And I got another worm drop, caress, drop. This one is stronger than my previous one and has better stats. Now, you could also run uh, Syntheseps, which in my opinion are really easy to use. You know, uh, it's fairly simple, but Syntheseps gives you the extra super damage as well and range in your melee. So very good, super, super solid choices. And of course, you can pretty much run any melee class, but since they did do the buffs, I like to roll with that burning maul now again this auto rifle even if you we if we go with the uh, bottom tree now now that we can create more sunspots wow like this weapon with any buffs on top of the weapons of light or on top of the sun warrior buffs this is insane now i know i've been talking about this a lot like oh this weapon is so good yada 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 but okay I just want to load up in a regular activity. Um, I don't want to do the sundial stuff, but let's let's just load up. Um, what destination is a good one? Let's load up on the moon. And I forgot they took away Vex Offensive. Um, let's go to the Sorrows Harbor and um, see if there are any enemies down here. But this weapon is absolutely bonkers. It's insane. This is, if you're asking me, on my opinion, on my favorite auto rifle at the moment, I wanna say it's this one. And it's not just because of I got lucky and I got this to drop. It's mainly because this weapon here is such a good archetype. And I forgot to mention, you know, you could put in the mod on this. And I decided to put it on backup max and I have 65 in the magazine i think that's pretty really really good plus you have this right here slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty so we all know slightly faster reload on a weapon with a high magazine that's not really a thing that you normally see on any weapons so quickly um let's see if we can pop over oh i didn't i didn't know these still were here but i'm glad that they are Let's just test this on some, some of these ads over here. So, 
fairly easy. We're getting some, some good damage here. A little bit of lag, but Swashbuckler times five. It lasts for a decent amount of time. Feeding Frenzy, I believe Feeding Frenzy procs on every kill. So it, it, you don't have to get a bunch of kills. It's just like you get one kill. So the recoil is very manageable as well. Has pretty good range as you can see there. And again, Swashbuckler is also, the, if you're asking me to go to perk for a Titan to be using. So let's go and see if we can pop this guy. Nope. Why did that waste my melee ability? That must have been a lag, lag spike of some sort. Um, let me get out of the danger zone. But crazy DPS here, just for um, just ad clearing. Of course, you guys can put on different mods like major spec, minor spec. And if you put minor spec, then you're really gonna be ad clearing here. Um, but just amazing weapon to say the very least. Very good run and gun weapon. I recommend this weapon to anyone that's looking for an auto rifle and either doesn't have breakneck or just is looking for another solid auto rifle that is, um, that's not breakneck. I mean, it's just that simple because breakneck is cool and all, um, but different weapons have different purposes. So this weapon is more of Oh, I'm gonna punch everything and we're gonna clobber everything, but obviously I could not get my sunspot to proc for some reason. It took away my melee ability, but here we go. Got Sun Warrior active. Now we're gonna be shredding people, really just teaching everyone a lesson, except this nightmare ogre. Jeez, that guy has a lot of health. So, come on. And again, that extra ammo, 65 ammo in an auto rifle. When do you ever get that much ammo in an auto rifle? Never. That's, look at this knight. He just got absolutely melted. Swashbuckler times five again. We're gonna get rid of Swashbuckler. There we go. Let's see if we can melee kill one of these ads. There we go, Swashbuckler times five. Guess what, put down a sunspot, extra damage. This is a very good combination. You're doing a lot of DPS. Um, for an auto rifle at least, because auto rifles in this sandbox, I guess auto rifles are just viable in general, but um, there are many other things that I could use, anyone wants to use other than an auto rifle, but if you are looking for a super solid auto rifle choice, again, recommend this. I haven't used it in PvP, but, because um, I just don't necessarily like auto rifles in PvP, I don't even play PvP that much at the moment, because I think it's kind of annoying. But uh, I switched back to using a controller on the PC, so I'm gonna have to um, get a little bit more use of this frame rate and uh, just the way that it feels again, because I was trying to use a mouse and keyboard, but I'll, uh, I'll post on some gameplay PvP in a different video. But this is just gonna be a quick video on you know this auto rifle's performance in general for rank and file ads, perk purposes, just, this is a very viable weapon. Like it, it's very versatile is the word I'm looking for. There's many things that you could use this for. You get a melee kill, you get everything procced. It's just a win-win. This is a very, very good setup. Um, this would be better if I did use my melee a little more than I am right now. And I used it um, with Syntheseps. That way we could just keep punching and punching and punching. But again, just Definitely farm the sundial and try and get this weapon. Uh, you can choose every time you finish it, I believe. I don't know how many times it is you can farm this for before you can't get it as a powerful reward. But I know that uh, so far I've done the sundial about uh, three times and I got, you know, you get the option to choose it, choose this weapon all three times. You can choose between this weapon or the uh, sidearm at the moment, the breech light. So it's either the steel feather repeater or the breech light. Both really good weapons. I found that the breech light, it's a two round burst weapon if you don't know. It's also extremely uh, powerful. It's pretty good for rank and file adds. So if you're looking for something that's not a, uh, a hand cannon, that sidearm is very good. If you haven't gotten the um, pinnacle sidearm yet, 
the ritual sidearm, I should say, because it's not technically a pinnacle weapon anymore. But again, guys, thank you guys for watching, making it through this video. Uh, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting on this channel. And uh, you better believe that I'm going to keep posting daily uploads. And I'm going to keep trying to inform you guys on what uh, I think is what's good, what's bad to use. And that's uh, just news on this game, some talks on this game. Because uh, I feel like this game has reached a lot of people and has a pretty good community in terms of uh, things that we want to see in the game. And it's just a great community overall. Uh, I've been trying to post videos on this game ever since Destiny 1. But um, thank you guys for all the support. I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys have any ideas and some uh, video ideas, make sure to post it down in the comment section below. Um, thank you guys for making it to the end again. It really, really means a lot to me, the fact that uh, you guys are subscribing and interacting with the channel. And uh, But definitely make sure to comment. Tell me what else you guys want to see, what else... Uh, some news, some tips, uh, maybe even f come follow me on Twitter or comment or send me some messages via Twitter uh, or even just commenting on YouTube like I said, tell me some stuff that I might not know, some things that I got wrong in the video, uh, any criticism is always taken, uh, taken informatively, so again, I thank you guys and that's going to be it from me, so uh, as always. Peace out.